Right, here is Reptile from Storm Collectibles in the Mortal Kombat series. Here's the side. Let's see what all the accessories are. Of course, it's going to come with a lot, as per usual with Storm Collectibles. But yeah, this is one I actually had on pre order and then ended up canceling because of money and then uh, ended up catching it on a Black Friday deal. So, yeah, let's get into this. All right, here is Reptile out of the box. Uh, this is the Mortal Kombat 3 ninja style version. Um, this is from Storm Collectibles, and personally, I think they always kind of knock this out of the park. They, uh, I really like their products. Um, okay, we got a lot of accessories here. Um, pretty typical with Storm Collectibles, though. They like to give us a lot of extra stuff. So we got uh, four sets of extra hands here. We have his reptile head as well as a hood to go over that. We have an extending, uh, not extending, but a long tongue for the reptile version. We have the acid spit. We also have a stand for his um, little acid uh, bubble projectile uh, effect as well. Also, on his regular head, his mask does come off. There's nothing underneath, but this is basically, I believe, so that you can put the mask in his hand and then have the reptile head to kind of recreate the scene from the game where he pulls his mask off and there's a reptile head there. But, uh, now let's take a look at the uh, articulation, starting with the head. Of course, it's going to go all the way around. Careful, try to not mask, knock his mask off. We've got some side to side. Goes forward that far, back that far, and down to the shoulders. Um, also, his uh, outer ninja layer here is soft and movable so it can get out of the way um, for the shoulder it's of course going to go all the way around um, we do have a butterfly joint in there as well it's going to go up that far we do have a swivel at the bicep there as well we have elbow goes about a little past 90 um, this gauntlet is loose as well, so that'll come off if you need. Um, and I'll go all the way around, up and down at the hand. We do have a little bit of ab crunch here. Just down like that. Dropped his mask. I will say his mask is not the tightest. I don't know if you can see how it kind of clips in there, but it doesn't. Uh, not much of a bump, and it'll fall off. And down to the hips and legs. Um, so the leg is going to come up really far. Gonna go out about like that, so not quite as far out as it goes up. Um, we also do have a double jointed knee here. His back and can kick himself in the back. Let's see, we don't have any 
swivels, um, but your normal uh, pin for rocker at the foot. And we also have a toe joint for all those, you know, special ninja poses you gotta get. So yeah, really solid figure. Just kind of what I expected from Storm Collectibles. Good articulation, accessories. Um, I think it's probably a pretty typical reuse body, um, I'm assuming. The only other MK3 Ninja one I have is the Sub-Zero, but it's the... Um, the ver the alternate costume where he's not so much ninja but he still has like these pieces um, which even with that I feel like there's still like some of the pieces seem pretty much the same the legs and stuff seem pretty similar um, but I am guessing if you have like uh, the MK3 normal Sub-Zero or um, Scorpion I imagine they're probably practically the same figure um, which is fine with me because I mean in the game they were basically the same models and stuff so no that really bothers me um, and like I said I don't even have those so why would it but yeah overall I, I love storm collectibles I'm gonna continue to buy their stuff whenever I can and uh, let's uh, let's take some photos and see how uh, posable this guy is and uh, let me know what you guys think of this figure comments down below let's keep this conversation going and uh, yeah I'll catch you guys in the next one Auf Wiedersehen